we're on our way to the gym right now. I am going to get that cortisone shot under x-ray today at one. So normally we train after that, but I know this is gonna be sore as hell and it's an upper body day. So we are gonna go get it done early and I'm gonna try to film a little bit when I go get that shot. five minutes but I just want to show you what my shoulder can do right now so I'll show you my good shoulder all the way up behind my head my bad shoulders there here here and out to the side you know this can come all the way up here that one's stuck here and I'm behind the back my good shoulder and my bad shoulder 60% chance this injection is going to help push it into the thawing phase, which isn't great odds, but I am very, very hopeful. I'm gonna grab this food and head out the door. All right, got my Eve's Canadian bacon and my oatmeal. I'm gonna eat it in the car. Let's go get stuff. Hey guys, so it's the following day. I got that shot in my shoulder yesterday. It was actually a pretty intense procedure, more intense than I thought it was going to be. It was done in a sterile environment, like a surgery, and I guess I thought it was gonna be more of like an office visit, like they were just gonna set me up for an x-ray and stick it in. Giacomo couldn't come in, he couldn't film, obviously. I had to lie on a table, and basically they marked my shoulder where they thought my capsule was gonna be and then they injected like lidocaine and novocaine and numbing agent right here they put that in and then they slid me back under an x-ray checked to make sure that it was in the right place the needle it was about this long and right here by my face. So I just did everything I could to not look at it because looking at it, I think, was the scariest part. So after they had injected the numbing agents, they injected a dye, like an iodine type of dye, just to make sure that they were in the shoulder capsule. So we have my clavicle, my scapula, and my humerus, and they all connect right here. And there is a capsule, like, literally think of a gel cap right like that you would swallow that is what is kind of encasing your shoulder joint and that is what is frozen on me with frozen shoulder adhesive capsulitis it's thickened it's completely limited my range of motion so i kind of showed this to you yesterday that's my good shoulder that's my bad shoulder. So you can see a massive difference there and it's quite painful. But when he put the needle into my capsule, I could feel it pop through it. I know that sounds gross, but that's what I felt when the needle went through my capsule. And he was like, wow, that's thick. I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> but once the numbing agent was in, I couldn't really feel pain. I could feel the needle in there, but it didn't hurt. And they injected like a cocktail of steroids and cortisone and anti-inflammatories in there. And I did feel immediate pain relief. It gets sore today from the injection, but it hurts less. And I can't tell if my range of motion is better yet or not. So I wanna give it a few more days, but the frozen shoulder has been so challenging. And I think the most frustrating thing about it is that it happens for seemingly no reason. So last summer in July, I was bit by a tick and I got Lyme disease, like acute Lyme disease. I was totally fine in the morning and I thought I was gonna die by the end of the day and I was in the emergency room. Very, very acute Lyme disease. And then I got, uh, you know, the ring on my foot a few days later. And we treated it with really intense antibiotics and I was completely bedridden for two weeks. But the antibiotics cleared it up, so I thought. So obviously I'm much, much, much better than that. But there have just been some residual strange things that have happened since then that I can't definitively say is because I got Lyme disease, but some things in my body are different and I can feel it. I have joint pain in a lot of places where I've never had joint pain before. And I've been lifting for 10 years and I know I'm getting older, but 
it, it's, a, it's just a different kind of joint pain, muscle pain that I've never felt before. And there are some other heart palpitations I had earlier in the summer. I guess it was like the fall of last year and I had to wear like a monitor and make sure my heart was okay, which it is. And then this happened, the frozen shoulder happened. And that typically happens to women ages 40 to 60 that either have diabetes or thyroid condition, which I have neither. So this really seems like it happened for no reason. And because the time that you have it is anywhere from one to three years, I'm pretty bummed about it. I think I'm in better condition than most people that have frozen shoulder. I'm still able to lift. I'm still able to drive. You know, things like driving and sleeping, they're painful, but I can still do it. Whereas some people literally have to go on disability because of this. So I'm grateful for that. A major thing I've done that I think is helping is I doubled my omega-3s. So I take a brand called Testa. Um, it's an algae-based DHA and EPA supplement, and it's the most dense EPA DHA supplement that I've found that is vegan. So I really, really love it. And I had been taking four capsules a day. That's about the recommended dosage. Four capsules comes out to be about two grams of combined DHA and EPA. I doubled it to eight capsules, which is now four grams. Dietarily, it seems to be the only surefire thing other than cutting out alcohol, which I don't drink anyway, that seems to help with inflammation in the body. Even though it's expensive, I'm probably spending $20 a week on omega-3s right now. I do think it's been more helpful than even taking ibuprofen or something like that. But it's like anti-inflammatory. It's just like beat it with anti-inflammatories until it chills out. So that's what that shot was for yesterday. I'll keep you guys posted on if it helps at all. And if you are not vegan and not an athlete and you just stumbled across this video because you have frozen shoulder, I sympathize with you so much. My dad had frozen shoulder when he passed away. He was currently in the middle of frozen shoulder. And I remember helping him put his jacket on and I, <laughs> I don't know, I guess, joke's on me. I just thought that he was kind of being dramatic. He had a tendency to sometimes be dramatic. No, he wasn't being dramatic. It looks like you're just stopping. Ugh, like you're being lazy, like you can't just reach over your head. But when I say it is stuck, it is stuck. And it feels like someone took a broken beer bottle and is just jamming it around in there. Sometimes even if I'm sitting completely still, you know, sitting, typing, and all of a sudden I'll just be like, ah. Oh. And it's the kind of pain that drops you to your knees. And I have dropped to my knees a couple of times from this pain as an athlete. It's the most crippling injury I've ever had. Way more so than my sprained ankle that I had in November. More than anything, more than any injury I've ever had, this has been the worst thing that I've ever dealt with. But if you stay on top of it as much as you can, you're gonna minimize your loss of range of motion. And that's been the number one takeaway that I've had is just keep it moving as much as possible and do the things you can do. Focus on the things that you can do and you're gonna come out on the other side with progress made, whether that's with your shoulder or with your athleticism. There's so many things I can't do, but there's still so many things I can do. So I'll let you know how this shot turns out eventually. So far, I'm hopeful and uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted. just woke up face but I wanted to show this to you guys it is now two days after I got that shot and I wanted to do a comparison again good shoulder bad shoulder I know it's not the same but that's such a huge improvement good shoulder bad shoulder all right this this one's not back yet good shoulder bad shoulder. I know it still looks different, but if we compare the two videos, I think you'll see a huge difference from the way it was the other day. And it barely hurts at all, so I'm so excited. I can't believe this actually helped.